Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna run through a list of non-toy gift ideas for kids in general. Um, I have personally a four, two, and a six month old, but these are for any ages. These are just non-toy gift ideas. I personally really like non-toy practical gifts sometimes, of course, I like to add some toys in there too, but I do really like practical things. So with the supply chain issues and with, you know, just season, here are some ideas, over like 50 ideas for you. So first off, the one I always recommend and want from other people is lessons and classes. A gymnastics class, a swim class, a dance class, a music class, something like that, an experience for the kiddos is number one. Next up is memberships maybe the zoo or a museum, maybe the YMCA or Disney Plus or Netflix or something like that, but memberships are also another great gift. Next up for a camera lover, I know my two-year-old and four-year-old love stealing my phone to take pictures, and I'm not gonna get them a phone and I'm not gonna get them an expensive camera, but they do have some really cute kid cameras, and you could get them along with a camera, a photo album, um, extra Polaroids if you get them a Polaroid camera, a camera bag, you know, anything that has to do with photography could become like a little set and their gifts could be themed around that. So that is another idea. A not so probably exciting one for them, but definitely practical would be a saving account or stocks or bonds or something like that. Also a magazine script subscription. We were gifted the Highlights Magazine for kids one year from my parents and my kids have just loved getting something addressed to them in the mail so that definitely is a good idea whatever mag magazine subscription you might like for them. I personally love sensory bins and think that sensory bin supplies is a great idea. That could be kinetic sand, it could be beans, rice, it could be food coloring to color rice, it could be new scoops, new um, cups that you can use, cookie cutters that you could do in the sand. You could do so many different things for sensory play that would make awesome, awesome gifts. And next on my list is craft supplies. Those are things you can use no matter what time of year it is. Very, very practical, especially if you have little ones. Things like pom-poms, googly eyes, pipe cleaners. I really like dot markers, paint smocks, new paint, popsicle sticks. You get the idea, but uh, tailor it to what your child likes or something maybe they haven't tried before. A new easel, but something, you know, for craft time. Next up would be outdoor stuff for, you know, maybe the spring or summer, even winter, if you bundle them up, you can do it, but maybe a new lawn chair, a bubble machine, a water table if they don't have one. I have gotten them a zip line in the past, which has been a huge, huge hit. We love activity, big gifts. Um, also, there's a thing called a huggle pod that my kids have. It hangs from like a tree and it's like a real little reading chair for them. Love that. So little outdoor type style things are always a good hit too. Next up is for any readers in the bunch. My daughter is just getting into reading. She is asking for an easy reader for Christmas. And so a reading kind of theme for little ones could be one of like you know, the little mini lamps that you can clip on a book, a new easy reader, obviously, maybe fairy lights that they could put around their bed or in their reading nook, comfy pillows, a new blanket to cozy up to while you read, and maybe even a new mug or sippy cup or something that they can have. You know, just think of if you were gonna have a cozy night in reading, what are the things you would want? Maybe a candle, something like that. So that sort of thing would be great for a reader. Up next, I'm thinking kind of travel, camping type style gifts. So maybe a new suitcase or backpack if they don't have one, a travel pillow, a sleeping bag, maybe a lantern, a flashlight lantern, new gym shoes, you know, things like that for that site sort of gift. Next time is like a bath bedtime kind of package, I will call it. You could get them a hooded towel, a new robe, slippers, a bedtime book, lotion, definitely in the winter is something you could get them, maybe even a new lovey or stuffed animal, something like that, but those are definitely good ideas for little kids. For the kids who love baking with you, baking supplies are always a good thing because you can use them rolling pins for pizza dough and pie crust and things that you might want to help with, cookie cutters, spatulas. A crinkle knife is a great one for um, new kids learning to cut. 
And another thing that I would love, have loved to do this year, but I didn't, is get them personalized aprons. You know, get them an apron that has their name embroidered on it or something like that, something they can keep for many years to come. I might do that maybe next year for mine as my two youngest get a little bit older, but definitely a new apron personalized I think is such a cute gift. Another way to go is sports related. So if you have a kid who's into soccer, maybe you wanna get them a new soccer ball, shin guards, a little headband, cleats, their favorite team's jersey or your favorite team jersey that they will you know, learn to love because you love it. Uh, a throw, throw towel or whatever those are called. Soccer players need knee socks, so a new pair of knee socks. A water bottle, a goal. You know, you can go so many different ways if you have a sport lover. Mine are gymnastics lovers, so what I could do for that are new leotards a Simone Biles book, a gym mat, maybe a gym bag to keep their stuff in, new scrunchies, glitter for their face, things like that. So just think about the sport that they might like or the activity that they might be really interested in and gifts that would go along with that. Up next is my outdoors type thinking. So a picnic blanket is something my kids love. I didn't get it for them ever, but we have one. And all the time they're bringing it out in the summertime to have little picnics with their stuffed animals and a little tea party on there. So an outdoor blanket could be a really great gift for them, even though they might not like, you might not think of that initially. My kids love them. So definitely a picnic blanket a water bottle, a magnifying glass so that they can explore, maybe a book on birds or insects, an insect little house thing, maybe colored pencils and a coloring book of birds or of insects or whatever it is that you know you got them the book of so that they could learn about outdoor things, but things like that, things that would be more nature oriented. Another thing great for kids is a busy board and they do sell busy boards online, but I think just making them DIY style is also really fun. You can just get a bunch of different kinds of locks, doorknobs, um, switches, that sort of thing, screw them onto a piece of plywood or board and then let them kind of do the sensory practical life skills of the board and my kids have absolutely loved we have like a puzzle version of it but you could so easily diy it and that would be a great gift up next are some learning themed ideas so i homeschool and so definitely supplies that would be fun for them things like unifix cubes we really like a wall calendar with you know dots that sticky dots i guess i'll call it crayons markers colored pencils that you normally would not buy them. So the more maybe expensive version. So instead of just colored pencil, do twisting colored pencils. Instead of just markers, maybe do the scented kind. Instead of just paint, do the paint sticks. Things like that, just that are a little bit different. That kind of goes with the craft supplies one, but it is a little bit different. Definitely more learning oriented. So like a leapfrog, for example, would be a great one to add in there. And then the last idea is something for dramatic play. So this is something you could totally DIY. That is actually what I am doing this year. So I'll give you my example, but my daughter really loves, anytime we get an Amazon package or something that comes in the mail, she always wants to deliver packages. So she'll put a baby doll or something in that box once I've opened it, she'll go outside, she'll walk down the sidewalk and like pretend to deliver a package. And so I thought for Christmas this year, I would do a dramatic play post office like set up for her. So I thought I've been collecting shoe boxes and I'm gonna color them, cover them in a color. I have, I'm gonna laminate little sheets of postcards and stamps. I'm gonna get her a little scale um, that she can use to put packages on and weigh them and a uh, cash register so that she could do amounts. It's a little post office system and I'm gonna totally DIY it. So that is another great idea if they are into something or you see something that they might do. That could be another kind of non-toy, dramatic play idea for them. So those are my ideas, lots of them out there. There are so many things. If you don't wanna do toys and you just wanna be a little bit more practical, those are definitely some things. Obviously, clothes, shoes, the things you would think about normally are good options too, but hopefully this gives you some good ideas. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.